We do this at least twice a year, so it's an opportunity for us to get together and kind of float some ideas out there. Each one of the board members has an opportunity to submit an item that they would like to discuss, know more information about, and that's basically what we do. We have moved it up so that if we were to redo our goals and so on, that we would be able to have that opportunity for them to be in place for the school year. And then also at this time, we'll be hearing some updates on the educational things that are happening in Prescott Unified. They worked very, very hard with me for the bills that we passed, the unemployment reform, the workman's compensation reform, as well as some others. So the fact that they chose to give me these honors was just tremendous. It truly is an honor. As the Speaker of the House and my seatmate, he and I have worked so well together as a team, along with Senator Steve Pierce. I think that we've done some wonderful things as a team with the rest of the legislators down there. There are more candidates for the two-year term than there are seats, and there are not enough candidates for the four-year term, and there will be an open seat. So we're trying to work out that. We have five candidates for five positions, so we believe we'll be able to work that out with the county attorney and the county school superintendent. With monsoon rains, we've actually had some washing, and it's caused damage to one of the archaeological sites along the trail that this individual probably was not even aware of. I think it's their frustration that they want to see a trail in a location, so they're taking it into their own hands. could be six months in jail or up to a $5,000 fine. When this has happened in the past, individuals have been caught and fined and banned from the National Forest on several occasions. He was very familiar with the Prescott Valley area, and after the media release went out, we started getting reports that he could be over at his church in Prescott Valley, and in fact, he was found at this church. We're looking at any issues he had with his mom at the house out in Cherry. We've had quite a bit of monsoon activity. The area in Cherry there is pretty remote and terrain somewhat rugged. I've been told, though, that the young man knows the area very well. He has attended school in Prescott Valley, where he ended up.